Good morning, Metro and Mega Manila. My name is Zero. Hello, everyone. Hello sa mga kapwa local guides ko dyan. Today, ang gagawin natin is babasahin ko yung ilang mga reviews ko dito sa aking account sa Google Map and then provide ko yung explanation why I provided that stars dun sa certain stores and places para naman makita talagang legit yung reviews na ginagawa natin. Okay? So, without further ado, let's go ahead and open the app. Okay guys, sa ibang mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, meron pong um, community ang local guides dito sa Philippines. But, um, local guide and dito sa Google Map is pang worldwide po talaga ito. So, dun sa mga ibang local guides sa India, sa ibang part pa ng mundo, Meron din silang ganun doon. So, dito sa Philippines, meron din tayong community. Ito na nga yun. So, in order for you to have an account, mag-sign up lang kayo gamit yung Gmail account niyo or email account. And then, ito na. Ganito ay makikita yung um, account mismo. So, simulan natin. As you can see, guys, Andiyan yung name ko, nandiyan din yung pic ko. And then makikita mo siya na local guide na sa level 6 na ako. So, I already had 1814 points. Paano ko siya um nakuha? Of course, number 1 for uploading photos sa account na to. Second, for helping others sa question and answer, guys. May mga nagtatanong kasi ng mga ways, streets, places, resto, or mga hotels, na which is natutulungan mo naman kung nakapunta ka dun at meron kang review about dun sa lugar na yon. Okay. Um, isang warning lang, guys. Kailangan legit ang review na ipoprovide mo. Wag naman dahil lang sa points, eh, magre-review ka, magpo-provide ka ng 5 star or less than 1 st or 2 star, 1 star dun sa isang store or sa isang resto or sa isang hotel, pero hindi mo siya napuntahan. Hindi mo na-experience, wala kang masabi. At gagawin mo lang yun dahil sa points. Bawal po yun. Kasi ang, ang aim natin dito is in order for you to help other people. Yung mga gustong mag yung nagtatanong, especially yung mga tourists, Bago lang sila dito sa Manila, sa Philippines, syempre kailangan nila malaman yung mga ways. And then, in order for them to get help, ang easy access nila is yung Google Map. And then, meron na nga yung mga local guides, just like me and other local guides dito sa, uh, sa Philippines. So, alam nila yan. Yung mga ka kapwa local guide ko po, hello po sa inyong lahat chan And mabuhay po tayong lahat. And thank you so much for... Um, walang sawang pagtulong sa mga taong nangangailangan dyan. Okay, so, start na natin. Ayan. Ang points, level, and badging, dito natin siya makikita. Normally, dito siya uh, sa taas, sa top header, sa baba ng pangalan ko. Click mo yan, no, yung parang icon, yung may points. Ang pag pagklinik mo yan, ang ma-open mong tab is like, eto nga yun. So, ito siya. Just to give you short information lang. Yung local guide points, earn points by contributing content to Google Map. Score a place with ratings. Describe your experience with reviews. Tapos, share ka ng photographs, photos, um, kahit na anong um, memories mo dun sa lugar na yon. And also, videos, yon. Provide insight with answer. Respond to questions about a place. Update information with place edit. O, oh, tama yon. Yung place edit, ito yung mga wala sa map. Pero, alam mo yung lugar. Kaya lang, pag hinanap mo siya sa Google Map, wala siya. So, yon. Kapag gusto mo siyang i-re-edit or mag-add ka ng place or streets, yon. May extra points din yon. And then, Yun nga, add missing places or verify information by checking facts. So, eto siya kung paano siya, ano, bigyan ng points ni Google. Pag sa review, uh, 10 points per review. Then, sa rating naman, 1 point per rating. And then sa photo, 5 points per photo. Tapos, pag nag-stream video ka, 7 points. And then, 
pag sumagot ka ng tanong, um, one point per answer. Guys, mamaya pag-usapan natin about sa questions. Kasi yun yung mga questions sa mga um, travelers, normal people, mga, resi- mga, mga residente ng Manila, or kaya or basta residensya ng, ng Philippines nagtatanong sila kung saan yung way tapos nagkataon na alam mo yun pwede ka mag-provide ng information but ang no-no natin dito is huwag ka magpo-provide ng full, uh, I mean false information dahil hindi mo alam wag mo nalang, kung hindi mo alam, wag mo nalang sagutin might as well, ba pero pag alam mo, provide ka ng extra information para naman makatulong so Okay, ayan na nga siya. Binuo ko lang kasi na-screenshot ko lang yan, guys. Check nyo na lang yan kapag uh, nag-open kayo ng Google Map nyo. Okay? Marami pa yan. Pwede mo siyang basa-basahin bago ka matulog. Okay, talking about the ranking. So, okay. Um, level 1 niya, wala ka pang badge nun. Level 2, 3, and 4. Sa 4 ka lang magkakabadge. Dati daw, um, upon checking... Yung history nito um, Sa pag level 4 nun wala ka pa rin badge Pero ngayon at this time um, Of the year Meron na silang badge So level 4, 5 and 6 So currently I am on Level 6 So eto na So 1,500 points na ako And I'm running to Pinupush ko talaga Papunta na level 7 and more May question kayo Right? Eh ano naman ngayon, kumikita ka ba sa ganyan? Anong meron sa Google Map? It's like, para lang siyang social media na, na katulad lang din ng, ng FB or other social media account. Actually, ang Google Map is different from the other social media account. Kasi yung Google Map is, una, nakakatulong ka na doon sa mga taong, hindi mo naman kilala, pero nangangailangan ng, ng information, ba? Diba? So, okay yun sa pakiramdam ng Sa pakiramdam mo, kahit ako sa pakiramdam ko, makatulong ako. Good na talaga sa akin yun. Pangalawa, ang, oo, tama ka. Wala siyang extra cash, but this Google Map give us extra perks. Yung extra perks na sinasabi ko, guys, is ano siya, yung mga discount-discount na yan, ganun, ganun yung makakuha mo sa pag-iipon mo ng mga points. But, hin, kung pag-uusapan natin yan, you can just go ahead and Um, check the FAQs, meron siyang question, tapos merong sagot na kaagad si Google Map doon, para maintindihan mo, kailangan mo siyang basahin lahat, okay? For you to understand talaga, mas mabuting ikaw na mismo ang ano, magbasa. Okay, ngayon, eto na nga, eto yung pinapakita ko sa inyo, yung meron siyang question, tapos merong FAQs, pwede kang magtanong, may certain answer na talaga na nakalagay dito. So, hindi natin siya pag-uusapan. Kung baga, dinaanan ko lang siya. Just to give you um, extra details about this. Ang main purpose of this video is yung tukol dun sa reviews ko. Uh, I have to read my reviews and then explain why I provided that stars dun sa um, stories, places, or establishments na binigyan ko ng reviews. Okay? Kasi importante yon as especially yung credibility ng isang local guide. So, dun lang naman ako nakafocus sa ngayon guys. Ngayon, check nyo na lang yon, Gawa kayo ng account na to. And be part of our team. Ngayon, makakareceive ka ng mga emails. Share ko na din to. Nice. So, eto yung mga nare-receive kong emails every now and then. Kapag uh, nagre-review ako, Masarap sa pakiramdam yung meron siya yung, sa yung parang nagsasabi na your review is making a difference. And alam mo yon yung nakakatulong ka talaga, masarap yun sa pakiramdam. Okay, every month yan guys ha, meron sila. Once in a while, meron silang provided na, inform- na email para sa'yo. So go ahead, lagi mo lang i-check yung email mo. And guys, Ang pinakamasarap na feeling dito is yung reply ng isang establishment do sa ginawa mong review. Just like this one. Um, thank you so much for Elsa Shangri-La Manila. Kasi nag-reply sila dati sa review na ginawa ko para sa kanila. And alam mo yun, nakaka-proud lang. Tsaka nakaka-touch. Kasi yung totoo naman kasi talaga yung review na pre-provide ka sa kanila. That is why I provided them 5 star naman talaga. Deserve nila yun eh. And then, yun lang talaga. Uh, nag give back sila sa akin, nag-reply back sila sa akin as email, 
And nakakasaya lang siya ng araw. Ano mo yun? Okay. Yan. Um, yan nga yung review na binigay ko sa Edge Shangri-La. No? And 8 months ago pa to guys. Ha? Basahin ko na lang. Sabi ko, so good. I was here 10 years ago and still the same great service and much upgraded rooms. Big thumbs up for this hotel. The room was still cozy, well-maintained, and very hospitable receptions. Good for family overnight. The place was in the middle of large malls and stores, which is true kasi nasa, ano siya eh, katabi lang siya na mega mall eh. With taxi lanes and security guards. I can probably say that this that it's one of the best location from all of the branches around Metro Manila yun naman kasi talaga sa lahat naman na napuntahan ko na Elsa Shangri-La um, hotel ang pinaka the best place sa akin is yung nandito sa may Ortigas area sa may katabi lang ng Mega Mall kasi maganda yung emo ko, for me lang yun ha, accessible kasi meron Although, meron naman sa Makati, meron din naman sa Manila, pero kanya-kanya experience lang to guys. So, yun. And, oo nga pala, ito yung reply ni Edza Shangri-La sa akin. Uh, response from the owner. Sabi niya, thank you for taking the time to share your review. We look forward to welcoming you to the hotel soon. Well, yes sir. Pupunta at pupunta pa rin ako ng... Um, at sa Shangri-La Hotel. Kasi the best place yan, kahit hindi po kayo nag-reply, ganun pa rin po ang gagawin namin. Okay? So, move na tayo. Eto guys, ang sinasabi ko, yung perks na sinasabi ko is eto yun, yung Connect Live is back and bigger than ever. Hindi ka nga magkakash, pero you will be able to go to California and join the local community team. O, di ba Mas bongga yun. And then guys, this is, um... Ang tawag niyan. Itong application na to, all over the Philippines, and of course, sa ibang part pa ng, ano, ng, ng mundo, para, para to sa lahat, sa, sa lahat ng mga local guides. So, dito sa Philippines, meron ako nabasa na, what if kung um, mag-apply yung mga local guides, katulad ko, kasi pwede na kami eh, yung mga nasa rank ng level 5, to 6 going up pwede na siya makapag-apply para makasali dun sa local community nagdaganapin sa California so, eto na nga siya kung gusto nyo i-check yung details, check nyo na lang kung meron naman kayong um, Google Map account na go ahead and check para malaman nyo yung tukul dito okay? Ayan, pakita ko lang sa inyo. Yan yung mga screenshots ko. Kasi wala kasing net doon sa labas. I mean, dito sa loob. Nasa loob ako ng room. So, ang hirap. So, ini screenshot ko na lang. Ayan. Okay, basahin ko ng konti guys ha. Um, according here, November 12, 15, 2019. San Jose, California. Local Guides Connect. So, all over the world, local guides are on the mission to help people find the places worth discovering. To celebrate the stars of our global community, Connect Live is back and will be bigger than ever. The event will be held November 12 to 15 in a show-stopping new location in San Jose, California. There, Google will host 200 local guides, level 5 and above, from around the world. So, yun na nga, pasok tayo dun, guys. And then, mayroong question na, what if kung isa lang sa country natin yung kukunin para as a representative of the Philippines, alam mo ang sagot ni Google, as long na marami kayo, as long na, nakapa, na okay yung application nyo, wala silang problema all expenses paid guys okay sa mga gusto magsama let's say um, pupunta siya as a local guide at saka um, naimbitahan siya ni Google doon pero gusto niya magsama ng company or um, ano mo na boyfriend girlfriend ganon ang sagot lang naman ni Google doon is ikaw lang yung expense mo lang yung sagot nila from the hotel from the food and everything especially doon sa place na ng functions or ng event but yung kasama mo, syempre sariling expense na yun, ganun lang yun okay, so move na tayo okay, so ito yung local guides connect ayan, hindi ko na siya babasahin guys i-check nyo na lang yung details okay, para maka move on na tayo 
Okay, so talking about my reviews at the shop, 48 reviews pa lang po ako. Um, I have 46 likes and then 7,066 views. So, kumbaga sa kumbaga sa tao, nagdadalaga pa lang yung account ko. <laughs> Okay, simulan na natin. Um, magbabasa po ako ngayon ng reviews. Ito ay sa kadahilanan. Kailangan ko pong patatagin ang aking credibility bilang isang local guide. So, hindi po ako nagpo-provide ng reviews ng basta-basta na lang. Nang walang, walang experience, basta na lang dahil sa points. Hindi po ganun yun. So, that is why I'm, I have created or why... I am here na ginagawa ko tong video na to. Ayan, na-stammer na naman ako. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the first review. Okay, ang first review ko guys is si Cafe Graphy. Ewan ko ko paano siya i-pronounce guys ha, but this is how I pronounce it. Okay, this is located sa Dalia, Makati, Metro, Manila. Ang aking pre-novide ditong review is for star. Let me, re let me read first, tapos ha ako ibigay yung explanation ko bakit. So, the food is just okay. Hindi consistent ang pag-open ng aircon. Minsan malamig, minsan mainit. So, great for barkada and kids too. Hope maayos ang konting issue. Yun. Exactly the reason why I provided 4 star lang. Kasi yung food naman talaga is okay. But the problem is, hindi siya, ano, yung, yung place niya, especially ngayon magsasummer, ba? Hindi ganun ka-consistent yung lamig ng aircon niya. Siyempre, upon checking nga sa ibang reviews na to, ganito rin yung mga reklamo ng ibang mga local guides na nag-review ng dito sa mismong store na to. So, sorry but I am providing 4 star lang talaga. Then, um, let's go ahead to McDonald's Kamembo. Okay, si McDonald's Kamembo naman, guys, is located sa Sampaguita Street, Makati, Metro, Manila. Okay, read ko muna, then saka ako mag-explain. Okay, big thumbs up for this new branch of McDonald's. Same taste, same price, and nice location. Bigger space with second floor for functions and customer seats. Plus, parking area is good and wide. Nasa kanto siya left side. Pagkalampas ng arko ng welcome to Pembo. Katapat niya ang bago salon. Nasa kahabaan siya ng Sampaguita Street. Pwedeng lakarin pag galing ka sa JP Rizal Extension or sakay ka ng tricycle pag galing ka naman ng staff house. Ganda ang area niya lalo-lalo na sa gabi. Malapit sa hospital ng Makati at sa mga stores ng Komembo. I also provided video, short video nito sa aking channel. Go ahead and watch that, um, Zero Element at PH channel. Na ilagay ko rin po yung link dito mismo sa aking account. Para dun sa mga um, gusto panoorin yung video, mas i-click nyo lang yung link na yan. And then nag-upload na rin din ako ng photos nito para ma-check nyo rin kung anong itsura ng area or... Um, yung store mismo ganun so yun, ang reason why I, big, I provided 5 star kasi nga, maganda naman talaga, newly open tong McDonald's na to kung napapansin nyo guys, nagbibigay ako ng review na meron, de, meron siyang um, information about the streets, kasi dati ako, pag tumitingin ako ng ano ng, ng sa google map Kailangan ko talaga na yung dire ng direction eh, ng direction. So, masabuti kumpletuhin nyo na lang yung, pati yung location, yung direction, kung paano pumunta, anong sasakyan, ano mga transportation ang available. Ilagay nyo na sa reviews nyo kasi makakatulong na yun doon sa taong naghahanap o nag-check ng mismong store. ba Okay, so let's go ahead and check the other reviews. Okay, um, halo-halo to guys ha, hindi, halo-halo yung mga nare-review ko eh, it's either church, um, restaurant, food chain, yun, katulad na to, iba naman to, so Manila, Baywalk, so this is located sa Ross Boulevard, Malate, Manila, basahin ko muna yung review, I provided 4 star, like every local guide said, 
mas okay kung visit mo ang Manila Bay Walk early in the morning or in the afternoon for sunset viewing. Dati kasi, may mga parts pa na madilim kapag sumapit ang gabi. But then, this day, after yung clean up ng Manila Bay, sobrang madami na yung tao na mahikita naglalakad sa gabi. So, pero guys, ingat pa rin po tayo. Kahit na 24-7 open si Manila Bay, um, still, ano naman, mag-ingat tayo sa mga bagay-bagay, lalo na sa mga nag snatch alam mo yan, maraming theft na case kasi nangyayari pa din sa ngayon. So, this is a bit away from Luneta Park and major establishment. And this review has 15 views na rin. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next is Our Lady of Peña Francia Seminary. So, guys, medyo lumayo tayo, ha? nawala tayo sa Manila. Oh, we'll go further away. So, this is located at Barangay Bibingkahan, Sorsogon City. I provided 5 stars for this. And ito na, basahin ko muna yung review ko. I am a bit disappointed reading some of the reviews here because obviously, they are not making a review. It's like giving a star but cannot express about the place. This seminary is one of the oldest school for boys sa kahabaan ng Bibingkahan, Sorsogon. My tito and the rest of the cousin used to be part of the school for boys. Pinaka nakakatuwa kong experience dito at yung dadaanan namin to from school ay yung activity ng boys during 5pm. Naglilinis at nag-gardening kasi sila sa labas ng gate. Well, kasi naman, nung high school ako, makakita ka na lalaki nag-gardening is kakaiba na sa paningin ko. So, yun yun. So, one time, nalaglag ID ko isang beses dito, then kinuha ko the following, then, uh, following day. May tito akong pare, and yung ibang tito ko madalas din dito. So, malaking land area din ito. They even have that big old house sa uh, tabing sides ng vicinity. Naging katatakutan namin yung bandang gitna, kasi meron dun ano eh, ang uh, tawag water pump. Tapos, Merong mga hearsay hearsay na may multo daw doon. So, every time na kapag nag-jogging kami in the morning or pag inaabot kami ng hating gabi, talaga nagiging katakutan namin yung area na yon But still, ano, uh, marami pa rin mga nag school dito ng mga boys na aspiring to be a priest someday. So, yun lang. Kaya ako to binigyan ng 5 uh, star. This um, seminary pala has... 46 views na rin. So, okay. Let's go to Our Lady of Annunciation Catholic uh, Parish Church. Okay. Another 5 star. Um, this is located at sa Bacon, Sawanga, Preto Diaz Road. Yun. The biggest land area, I must say, this old church has a wide land area and the oldest church in Bacon District. Best time pag summer and holidays like Semana Santa. Na akit ko na nito guys ha, nakaakit na ako sa mismong tore nito. Yung kung saan nakalagay yung bell, the view is superb. Kita mo talaga yung kahabaan ng beach resort ng Bacon. Pati yung mga bundok ng Santo Nino, Rapo-Rapo at dulo ng Sawanga. Nakita ko na rin yun. And then, three weddings na ang na-witness ko dito. At napakaraming simbang gabi. So, puno laging church. Kids can play and run within the vicinity. Bermuda grass kasi yung nakalatag sa sides ng pathway. As in, puro siya Bermuda grass. Tapos, yung gitna lang niya, yun lang yung cementado. And, yun nga, mahaba yung pathway. Dalawa yung entrance. Tapos, dito rin ako nag-aabang ng saklot. Um, in bakod nun term, it's another word for salubong dito sa atin sa Manila pagdating sa pagdating ng mahal na araw. So, malapit din lang siya sa cemetery ng mismong district. And then, experience nyo yung prosesyon ng mga santo during mahal na araw. Yes, guys, super the best talaga dito sa ano na to, sa simbahan na to. Kasi sobrang maraming dumadayo talaga doon. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and move to another review. Grand Villa Hotel. Okay. Ito si Grand Villa Hotel, located naman sa 866 P. Herrera, 
Pateros Metro Manila. So, bumalik tayo sa Manila. I just provided 4-star bucket. This is the reason why. 4-star for this hotel. Pag brown out ang Makati, dito ang puntahan namin to spend the night together. This hotel has a 2-swimming pool, 1 for kids, 4 feet po yun, then isang pang adults. Tapos, during summer, napakarami po dito nagsiswimming lesson. Kasi, I think they they had this swimming lesson yata uh, sa mismong hotel. Then, dito rin nag spend ng party. They had function rooms for parties and the rooms can accommodate up to 10 packs. Kasi, na, nag-check na ako ng mga rooms dito. Um, hanggang 10 packs yung kaya nilang i-accommodate. Two big rooms yon tapos sa bandang taas yun na malapit sa swimming pool ayun and then it is located along the way lang so pwede siya lakarin from Jollibee Pateros intersection and or sakay ka ng trike pwede din yung rooms uh, pwede rin pati yung rooms pala malinis ang beddings ang konting issue lang talaga guys sa place nila ay sobrang daming lamok pagdating ng gabi. Ewan ko lang ngayon na pero nung nandudun kami ng mga panahon na yun, napakarami niyan lamok. So, you have to stay talaga sa loob ng room. Ang hirap magstay sa labas kahit na tatambay ka lang doon sa may porch or sa may parang veranda nila. Malamok kasi talaga. Ayun na nga. Then, ang nagkaroon pa ng konting issue is yung extra beddings nila. Dati, meron silang extra beddings up to 4 person for na sa isang room na good for two adults lang. But last year, di na sila nag allowed So, kasi nga, ang reason nila is napakataas daw kasi ng kuryente. Wala daw kasi patayan yung aircon. Well, for me naman, as a customer, so, hindi na natin problema yun, ba? As long that we are paying the room. So, yun lang naman. And, guys, meron din kasing room to sa taas sa dun sa may entrance tapos sa upper level nila uh, yung mga rooms nila maliliit lang yung partition and hindi siya pader ang tagyan hindi siya semento ano dingding lang yung ano yung partition nila dun sa every room na yun so magkakarinigan talaga yun lang naman yung downside ng hotel na to dun yung sa part uh, upper level nung nasa, uh, nasa mismong entrance ng ano ng hotel Yun. And then, meron kami nagustuhan na isang room lang dito. Yung katabi ng room na pinag-check in na namin. Siya dapat yung kinukuha namin, but nung araw na yun, hindi siya available. Uh, meron siyang sofa. Ano pa ba? Maganda yung beddings. Maganda yung, maganda yung design sa loob ng nung room mismo. And then, ang kaibahan lang is yung CR niya. Ano? Um, yung door niya, hindi siya wood sliding door so kita din taong naliligo sa loob so i think yung room na yung room na yon is just good for two person lang siguro for couple ganun okay so let's move on okay Rizal monument balik naman po tayo sa lungsod ng Sorsogon <clears throat> okay i provided 5 star for this because if you are not from Sarsagan City, you can never tell how beautiful this park during night time, which is true. I had witnessed the transformation of this park from the very beginning. There are street lights, benches, and fountain, and some stalls that you can buy some snacks while, while bonding with your friends. In our own term, pahingalo sa park, guys, from my high school days hanggang college, pahingalo sa park means pahinga sa park in Tagalog very nice ang vicinity there is a place where you can play tennis and an extra playground for kids surrounded by trees so the city hall is located at the back corner of this park as well as a source gun gymnasium sa side a good place to relax and have some fun with friends so alam niyo na siguro kung bakit 5 star yung ibinigay ko dito no need to explain right so move na tayo Okay, guys, lahat naman tayo yata or karamihan sa atin nakapunta ng Enchanted Kingdom, right? So, Enchanted Kingdom is located at San Lorenzo Street, I mean Road, Laguna, Santa Rosa. So, 5-star naman dito ang binigay ko. 
super nice. We visited this amusement park several times. But the last time we are here was with a Comembo Elementary School tour. Still the same rides and the entrance was still 500 per person. Ewan ko siguro 500 per person kasi nasa tour kami nun. But now, you can just go ahead and check the website po ng Enchanted Kingdom dun sa mga gusto magpunta kasi baka mamaya, mamali yung pricing eh. Every now and then kasi nag-iiba naman yung pricing ng Enchanted Kingdom. So, yun na nga. You can walk and search for a ride inside the amusement. They had stalls and food cart in the middle. Souvenir is at the front side. Then more games ka sa likod, sa back area. Wherein you can also watch free concert. Yung mga free concert na sinasabi ko, sometimes artista, sometimes not. Yung mga performers, stand-up comedians, sometimes ganun. Or yung mga nagbabanda-banda. Ayun. And for me, it is the most crowded place. Okay, nag-skip ako doon. Ang pinaka-favorite ko na ride dito, guys, is yung Rio Grande, which is eto na nga. Basahin ko ulit. Sorry about that. It is the most crowded place and will take 45 minutes. Tama yun. Kasi alam mo yun, sumukay kami ng Rio Grande. Tapos, waiting kami sa line like siguro 30 minutes nung pangapanahon na yun. And then, nung nakasakay na kami, we just spend like 5 minutes lang sa ride. Tapos basang-basa na kami, bumaba kami. And then, pumila kami ulit. Ayun, bago pa kami ulit nakasakay, tuyo na ulit yung damit namin. Samantalang suma bumaba kami dun, basang-basa talaga. So, ganun kahaba yung ano, Rio Grande, guys. Kasi talagang maraming sumasakay dito. It's fun naman kasi talaga. And then, you have the Vikings and then the paintball games. Yung paintball games, guys, astig. Yun ang gusto ko rin talaga. It is great to have fun in Enchanted Kingdom. So, try nyo yun. Especially yung paintball. Very, very cool yun. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> okay, so balik na naman tayo sa uh, review ng simbahan. So, St. Peter and Paul kasi this is located at National Highway, Sorsagal City. I provided 5 star for this. Still, the big cathedral in Sorsagal, I witnessed the transformation of the church from 1990s till year 2000. I used to go here to pray and to visit the Adoration Chapel. Yung Pia na tinatawag, I don't know why Pia ang tawag namin nun sa probisya, beside the church. Playground at the back of the church. I was with Cathedral Choir before, but it only lasted only um, for I think 2 months lang yato or 3 months that was in my elementary days since I was a student of Sarsagon Pilot Elementary School na halos katabi lang ng simbahan so most visited during 9 mornings and some holy Sundays okay so next Santa Florentina Parish Church <coughs> okay so napapadala si review ko sa mga church Ito nga talaga yung mga napuntahan ko. O yun yung mga kasing important doon. Kung ano yung napuntahan mo, yun yung i-review mo makatulong. So, this is located at Rapu Rapu Albay. I provided 5 star. And this is the reason why. <clears throat> the very first time I was asked to be a flower girl to a wedding was held in this church. Most of my childhood best vacation was with Rapu Rapu kids. The church witnessed most of the saddest moments in my life. Yung mga namamatay, syempre, doon binibindi siya nandiba ba? Bago siya dali sa cementerio. Yun yung ibig ko sabihin doon na, yung mga saddest moment in my life. It is located just beside the basketball court of the island. But that was before. I don't have the exact picture of how Rapu Rapu made progress in the past years. You can visit the church by riding a trike or just by walking. Since our house naman kasi is just a few blocks away from the church. Opo, may bahay po kami dito sa island na to. And, weird to say this, but from then till now, I had this redundant dream during my sleep. And I had always see the church and some of the area of the island. Maybe I just needed to visit again the, uh, visit again the island. Kasi nga, siguro it's been 20 years. 20 years na yung nakakalipas, hindi na ako nakakabisit dito. So, siguro minumulto ako ng mga memories ko from, you know, childhood. 
memory. So, yun. Move na tayo. <clears throat> okay. So, balik tayo na Manila. So, Mother Dolorosa Parish. Located 155A, 19th Avenue, Makati. So, I just provided four star lang po dito sa church na to. Bakit? This church is just along J.P. Rizal Extension. Katapat niya is 7-11. Uh, small lang po yung parking space dito sa front. Mostly closed during weekdays kasi. Yun ang reason dito. Pagka pumupunta ako, sarado yung simbahan. Eh, hindi ako sanay ng sarado yung simbahan. Na, kasi sa, sa province, lagi kasi nakabukas kahit na walang ano, hindi siya Sunday. Kahit na weekdays, lagi naka-open yung church. Para doon sa mga taong gustong manalangin, di ba? So, eto na nga, but, that, but this church opens only or mostly weekends and or during some holidays. So, yun. Kaya, for star po sa inyo. Now, let's go to um, Basilica of the Black Nazarene. For star din po ang binigay ko dito. Located to sa 363 Quezon Boulevard, Quiapo, Manila. Read ko muna ang aking review bago ako mag-explain why. The church holds the biggest number of people during Sundays. I rarely visited the church nowadays due to transportation problem, traffics, and some minor cases of theft. Yun ang ngayon dahilan ni. Eh. The church is all but well-maintained. It is most visited during the Black Nazarene Day. So, most of the vendors here are for candles, flowers, scriptures and even fortune tellers are also here guys so sobrang, sobrang dami ng fortune tellers talaga dito sa kaya po may kita siya sa likod ng simbahan sa likod sa tabi ayun doon mo sila makikita and then <clears throat> i'm sorry about that sorry um be cautious na lang at all times so pag pumunta ka dito might as well um just bring mga ano lang, yung mga important things lang talaga pag magsisimba ka. Kasi, syempre, kaya po ito eh. Hindi natin masasabi kahit na hanggang ngayon, meron pa rin mga cases ng theft. So, just be cautious, guys. And then, eto is malapit siya sa mga establishments like malls, stores. Um, makakakita ka ng mga food chains sa tabi niya yun. Then, in transportation dito, taxis and jeepneys, yun yung mga accessible na pwede mong sakyan talaga. Okay? So, let's move on to another church. National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Help. So, eto talaga. Um, this is located at Redemptorist Road, Baclaran. Uh, located siya sa Pasay, Philippines po. 5 star ang binigay ko dito. I always had chills whenever I visit this old church in Baclaran. Way back 1990 till now, my petition and wishes, I may say whenever I visit a church, were always granted. Oo, may ganun talaga. Yung meron kang simbahan, meron kang connection doon sa simbahan na yun. I don't know, pero I don't know sa iba, pero this is eto yung na-feel ko talaga eh. Pag nasa Baclaran Church ako, eto yung nararam, nararamdaman ko siya. May connection talaga siya sa akin. I have visited the Kiapu Church before, but there is no connection at all. The church sits in the middle of Changi and some major establishments in Pasay, Philippines. It's spacious and old but still maintained. We used to have the entrance at the side of Changi before then. They opened the entrance gate at the front. You can buy candles and some pagita flowers outside and within the vicinity. One piece of advice. If you wanted to visit a church these days, might as well bring small things and just wear plain for safety purposes. Katulad nun sa Kiapu Church, guys. Baclaran and Kiapu Church is just pareho sila dun sa area. Medyo, medyo anong tawag dyan? Um, hindi ganun ka-safe. Although marami na mga nagro-ronda ngayon, ha? marami na mga police na umiikot-ikot ngayon sa place not uh, nowadays pero still mas maganda pa rin yung mag-iingat tayo guys okay kasi there are still cases of snatching in the areas okay so let's go ahead and read my review naman sa restaurant na to so have you heard aristocrat restaurant guys have you guys visited this resto 
Okay. Um, this is the reason why I provided five star for them. This is located at 2112 Chestado Makapagal Road. And before I read this review, um, I don't know, pero ngayon ko lang nalaman na aristocrat restaurant is pag-aari pala ng mga Aquino. I think it's Bam Aquino. I think, na-overheard ko lang yata. I don't know guys, comment down below kayo kung tama ba yung sinabi ko or mali yung narinig ko. <laughs> Hindi ako nakapag-research pero narinig ko yun sa news na nung nagkaroon sila ng issue about um, dun sa waste management ng aristocrat. Um, parang narinig ko lang na yung pag-aari siya ni Nabam Aquino. So, I don't know but Anyway, nagawa ko naman tong review before before pa na lumabas yung ganong issue. And wala naman to eh. Hindi na, in, malayo naman to dun sa sa kung anumang issue na nagkaroon sila ngayon. So, this is just part of my experience and this is why I provided 5 star for them. So, if you are just looking for a traditional food, I can recommend you this restaurant, guys. It was built many many years ago and the place has been one of tourist destination in Manila. Actually, pinuntahan nga ito ni Sandara Park eh, sa Dara Tour niya sa Battle Trip. Um, dito sila kumain ng dessert. So, masarap talaga dito guys. The resto itself was located in front of Manila Bay. They had small bakery inside wherein you can grab some snacks or even to go breads and pastries o o totoo yun. sobrang sarap ng pastries nila doon i remember that i had this one particular tasty bread that i usually ordered in then <clears throat> sorry about that if you wanted a family dinner or lunch the resto inside with the hospitable staff serves delicious food so from dessert to main dish the price is also a bit costly. Of course naman, expect naman natin na ganun. Kasi this is not a food chain, guys. This is a resto. And hello, uh, restaurant na kaya to? Noon pa kaya? Sina, uh, kumbaga, mga panahon pa ng nina Cory Aquino yata, I think. May aristocrat na. So, yun na nga. The price is a bit costly. However, the experience is priceless. The views are perfect in the morning and in the afternoon, so I can definitely say this resto deserves 5, five star from me. So, yun. Okay talaga sa aristocrat. Nakailang balik na rin akong kumain dito talaga. And kapag ka kumain ka tapos yung view mo dito sa may bandang salamin, yung makikita mo yun sa may side na may makikita kang fountain tsaka mini park. Misa nag-hold ng concerts dyan guys. So, yun. Yun lang. Okay, so guys, cut na natin yung video kasi medyo mahaba na siya. I'm sorry, but baka makasing mabore kayo. So, I am just going to make it like part 1 na lang, tsaka part 2. But still, um, itutuloy ko pa rin yung reading my reviews dito sa Google Map. Um, of course, para sa, e sa extra information or knowledge para sa inyo. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, dalawang example ng question and answer kung paano namin ginagawa dito sa Google Map. So, here it is. Yung isang question is about Osma or Hospital na Makati. Um, ito yung question niya. Sabi niya, from Shaw Boulevard, how to go there? So, ito yung sinagot ko sa kanya. Ayan, nag-provide ako ng information, guys. Dal tatlo kaming local guide na sumagot dito. Magkakaiba yung sagot namin, yung way, but iisa lang din yung uh, destination talaga. Hospital lang Makati pa rin. So, yun. And then, bigay ko na sa inyo yung another example ng question and answer. Okay, meron din isang nagtanong na, hello po, nagdi-deliver po ba kayo? Okay, um, eto yung isang fact dito uh, karamihan ng mga nagtatanong akala nila is yung tinatanong nila yung mini message nila is directly dun sa mismong store katulad na to, akala niya yung message niya is for Jollibee talaga, Jollibee store kami po yung nakakatanggap niyan just to let you know, kami mga nasa Google Map ang nakakatanggap ng mga questions nyo and then kung kami may knowledge about that pwede namin i-share kung anong pwede nyo gawin. So, ganun yung ginagawa namin. And since nagkataon na, uh, yes, I have, I have knowledge kung paano sagutin itong tanong to dahil nag-work po ako as a delivery service um, consultant, I mean, customer service rep. So, sinabi ko sa kanya na, 
walang delivery yung Jollibee dito sa Comembo but still, ang magde-deliver niyan is Jollibee Patero since nasa area siya ng Comembo so, um, take note guys ha kapag nag-order kayo sa hotline ng Jollibee man yan or Choking man yan magka-sister company naman yan so it's okay so, pag yung area nyo merong branch na na um, store na gusto nyo pero wala naman talaga siyang delivery ang, manggagal, ang pagagalingan pa ng delivery store is sa malayo basta meron kasing kaukulang ano yan eh, mga branch na nagde-deliver lang talaga, sila yung mga nagde-cater so sabihin natin, let's say nag-order ka na sa Comembo ka, it's either Jollibee Buting or San Joaquin branch or Jollibee Pateros branch ang magde-deliver sa inyo yan so vice versa, katulad lang din yan sa Chowking, so pareho lang din okay, so just to let you know guys, yan lang, ang information na pinoprovide namin dito, ngayon, pag hindi namin alam, yung tinatanong nung isang um, tao, might as well hindi ako sumasagot o kaya, ang binibigay ko nila na information is, go ahead and check the website nung mismong store na kailangan niyang alamin so, yun lang guys ha sa ngayon ay I have to go na. Masyadong mahaba niya yung video. Again, I am Zero. I am from Makati, Philippines. Thank you so much. Sa mga hindi pa nag-subscribe, like niyo yung video na to. Subscribe na kayo. Then, sa mga kapo local guide ko na nanonood, please um, comment down below. Sabihin nyo na isa rin, kayong, isa rin kayong guide. Okay? Para malaman natin na pare-pareho tayo nasa yung isang community. Okay? Thank you so much. You do have a great day, guys. Bye!